These signs around here haven't been replaced in at least 50 years. Francesca Lucido makes the spiciest pizza in the city. The only thing spicier than her cooking is her imagination. And right now she seems to have a thing for me. Oh, Tex, why can't all the men be like you? Because if all men were like me, you women would have a harder time finding something to complain about. Well, I've got plenty to complain about right now. Sal's gone too far this time and I've got to do something about him. It's humiliating the way he's been flaunting his latest affair with some floozy. If I had some hard proof he's been sleeping around, I could finally divorce him and get some money from him. I'm sorry things aren't working out. If there's anything I can do to help, short of sleeping with you, be sure to let me know. Oh, Pooh, you sure know how to break a girl's heart. But there is something you can do for me. And then I will do something for you. I saw you get jumped last night. Sal told me to keep quiet and that telling you would put my life in danger. But I'm willing to talk if you'll give me some proof that Sal is having an affair. Then I could divorce him and get some of the money he's been hiding away all these years. I've got an idea. Why don't you help me first, then I'll help you. You get me some dirt on Sal, and then I'll answer any questions you have. I don't know anything about the girl Sal is seeing. I've gone through his things, but haven't been able to find anything except for this note. I think it's meant to be a coded message. <laughs> I'm sorry I don't have anything more for you to work with. Let me know when you've got something. What can I get you? Franny told me you got whacked. I haven't heard any word on the street about who would have done it. As a matter of fact, he just left. You'd probably be interested to know that he tore up a note and left it in the trash. Louis tells me he just took the garbage and dumped it in the trash can just outside the brewing stew. This is where Louie throws out the garbage. Street people come from miles around to sample Louie's award-winning leftovers. This is where Louie throws out the... These must be the note scraps Louie told me about.
The Golden Gate Hotel was once known as the Waldorf of the Pacific. Its halls are still sturdy, and the walls have worn well. But there's nobody living inside. Ardo Newpop is a gigantic goon who works at the front desk at the Golden Gate Motel. Ardo's no rocket scientist. In fact, he probably doesn't even know what a rocket scientist is. My name's Tex, and I'm a PI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Okay. I think I've already seen this show before anyway. I always thought that Captain Wallaby was a pedophile. You mean he likes to ride bikes? I have a bike! Boy, you seem like a sharp guy, Ardo. I'm a P.I. and I need some info. I'll bet you know a lot about what goes on in this neighborhood. Okay. I can answer some questions, but first I have to put on my fire hat because Inspector Burns' fire safety show is going to be on pretty soon. I went to his pawn shop because I thought he would have Inspector Burns action figures, but he didn't, and I got mad at him, so he probably don't like me. Ooh, Chelsea is pretty cool, because she's got good magazines and stuff. That's where I bought my Inspector Burns fire safety manual. He's a nice guy, and I like to eat there because there's a TV. She's the lady who makes the best pizza. I eat at her pizza place all the time because I love it. I don't know what that is. I used to watch his TV show and it was pretty good, but then it stopped. And then he opened a store down the street and I used to go there and buy stuff, but then it closed. I don't know what that is. Ooh, a small nozzle. Probably a helium dispenser used for filling balloons. This guy comes up to me and says he don't like you hanging around here. So he gives me a bunch of money and says he'll pay me more if I keep you out of here until he goes away. Ardo's not gonna let me into those rooms at the hotel. But I've got that Inspector Burns costume. Maybe I'll try it on him next time I go in.
The Golden Gate Hotel. Now I've got an Inspector Burns disguise that would fool his own mother. It certainly ought to do the trick on a goofball like Ardo. It's my hero, Inspector Burns! Hello, Fire Safety Ranger Ardo. I've come to inspect your fine hotel for fire safety. Oh boy, this is a dream come true! Ready for inspection, sir! Well, that's fine, Ardo. Open up those doors for me and I'll inspect your hotel rooms. All right! I'll open the doors, Inspector Burns. After a few minutes, I find the door to the Regency Escort Service Hotel Suite. The door's locked, but there's a security panel on the wall beside it. Looks like it requires a password. So this is the Regency Escort Service Love Suite. Now that I'm in, I'll need to find something to prove that Sal's been a frequent customer. This must be titled, Mishap on the High Seas. Nice, boring, but nice. I'm starting to think this painting's following me around. Looks like a piece of bright shiny foil. Must be from a bottle of champagne. Girls looking for contact lens. Man now wishing he hadn't gotten drunk and challenged the other guy to a duel for insulting Rosie the toothless wench with a heart of gold. This painting is very... yellow. A list of names. All female. Looks like Sal's a regular here at the Love Suite. I'd call this one, Two Girls Bothered by Ants on a Picnic. This must be titled, Mishap on the High. A twisty board game. I used to play this as a kid. I wonder what the escort girls do with it. A twisty board. Ah, French doors with American knobs. Lavish, yet practical. A Larson Grand Piano. Wow. 
That's even better than a stuff way. Good evening, ladies and charms. I'm your entertainer tonight, Mr. Franco Spinoza. I'm gonna be playing some songs that I know you'll love. Listen to this one. Hard and cold, it's what it does to me. Hard and cold, the shower sprays on me. La la, hey, la la la, to hell with it. Oh, a passion's breath room deodorizer. Smells terrible, but it's got a magnet on it, and magnets can be handy. Mm, smell. Ah, French doors. Looks like a nice vacation spot. The nightstands balance the bed nicely. I love symmetry. Oh, it's last month's Playbub magazine. Looks like it's stuck inside the drawer. Oh, it's last month's play. The nightstands balance the bed. I don't think I ought to open that credenza. It might be full of Sal's underwear. I love finding unlocked drawers. I love finding... Twelve cents. Some people would take this change, but not me. Cash, maybe, but not change. Looks like the upper left drawer is locked. I'll bet I could open it if I had something to pick the lock. Too bad there's no film in it. There's no dust on it, though. Must have been used recently. Hmm, the camera. Too bad there's no film in it. There's no dust on it, though. Must have been used recently. A Gideon's Bible. It figures. Everything points to Sal being an aspiring televangelist. Looks like a set of closet doors. Hopefully this isn't Sal's negligee. The color's all wrong for him. Champagne glasses end up in the weirdest places. Apparently this closet doesn't get used very often. <laughs> 